Hi, we are now with Nina Dunbar, Executive Director of the Arts Fund. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. We're glad to have you in our show. And we would like to start by telling our viewers what's the mission of the Arts Fund. Well, the Arts Fund was founded in 1983, broadly to foster the arts in Santa Barbara County. We do several things. We create, administer, and support programs and individual projects that support the arts as well as fostering relationships and collaborations among other arts organizations to maximize resources, uh, again, to support the arts in Santa Barbara County. Nina, and before going any further, I would like to ask you a simple but important question. What is art? Well, that is a very big question and one that probably I could take this entire program answering. But in terms of the Arts Fund's mission and what we support is more creativity. We're very interested in seeing creativity enhanced in our community and support all creative acts. In terms of what they create or what art is, it's a creative endeavor that results in an object or a, a musical performance, anything that reflects the human spirit as created by humans. Good. And based on that, how do you see the art scene here in Santa Barbara? Do we have an active group? You have a very active group, and it's very exciting. This is a small community that's very supportive of the arts. You have a wonderful museum. You have an arts commission, numerous galleries, and other organizations that support the arts and create and provide opportunities for artists to show their work, to perform their work, and create. And you were already mentioning that your main mission is really to support them. So how do you achieve this goal? Well, the Arts Fund um, is a very small organization and we are nimble in that we change programs as we see needs in the community. However, we have three programs that we feel are essential. Um, one is to promote arts education. Um, we don't provide arts classes, but we have a program called the Teen Arts Mentorship. And we feel that in some ways, students who are very talented in the arts are an underserved population. As arts education programs are cut to the bone in many cases with budget cuts, we're looking at ways to really support students who are interested in the arts. So our mentorship program actually pairs teams with professional artists working in the community. And they work outside of a classroom in a studio or even in a university setting. They learn specific project skills or art making skills, but they also learn about the life of an artist. They begin to see what it's like to live an artist as an artist, how you make money, how you support yourself. So it's a very important enrichment program to existing arts education classes here in Santa Barbara. Our other program, the Individual Artist Award, is also unique because there are very few programs right now that support individual artists working in a community. So the Individual Artists Award every year gives three to four awards in different categories. It includes a cash award of usually $2,000, $2,500, which they can do anything with, but ideally further their artistic career. And it's an opportunity to exhibit or perform their work here in Santa Barbara itself. Additionally, we offer our community gallery where we are right now. Um, the gallery is a venue for us to show our own uh, programs works. For example, mentorship students exhibit here and learn how a gallery system works. But we also make the gallery available for community, other organizations who lack space. Uh, we've worked with other organizations like the Patricia Henley Foundation uh, to do a show about graffiti art. There was a feeling that there were many artists working in graffiti who were only associated with the negative sides of that. So we used our gallery as a venue to show um, how that work actually had an artistic merit and where these artists were going with that. So Nina, let's talk more about your gallery. How many exhibitions do you have per year and how does it work? The Arts Fund has eight to 10 exhibitions a year. Many of these shows are our existing programs. We also exhibit individual artist award winners. This is a primary part of their award. The remaining shows are available to community groups who would like an exhibition. The gallery works in a commission basis like many other commercial galleries. We charge a 30% commission as opposed to a 50 or higher. And another thing that's unusual for the Arts Fund, and we are strongly associated with the gallery, however, we also support the literary and performing arts. Our individual artists award 
program each year offers either we alternate between a literary uh, award, for example, in poetry or general fiction or a performing arts award. While we most often are associated as being a visual arts organization and a gallery, we do promote all of the arts uh, to the best of our ability. Perfect. And last question, how can people get involved? Do you accept volunteers? Yes, the Arts Fund is only administered by two part-time staff people, so we need all the help we can. People can serve on our board. We always need help doing our gallery installations, um, helping design shows, working with artists to do presentations. We need clerical help, um, development help, reaching out to our donors. Um, all of those things would be beneficial to us. People should call the Arts Fund and we can find a job for them. Good. Can you share your phone information and website? Our website is www.artsfundsb.org. And our phone number is 965-7321. Nina, thanks for all that information and I wish the best for you. Thank you, Viviana. And the Arts Fund. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.